If you're interested in this video, please stick around. My name is Tim Rose, and if you're new here, you are welcome, guys. Hey, guys, please remember to give the video a like and a share, guys. It helps with the algorithm. Guys, uh, there is this uh, restaurant that recently opened doors to the public. Uh, it's in Santen, uh, and it opened on July, guys. Imagine, it's called Aman Kitchen Bar. According to this post that I saw from Pulele Suiti in, on Twitter, it says the SEPS alleges that the establishment wasn't compliant and operating under an expired license, guys. It's so sad because I asked myself, what license is it uh, that is already expired when the restaurant actually opened doors to the public on July? And some people on the comments they were saying that hey, maybe they are operating under news cafe's license because uh, according to the story it looks like this place where it is it used to there used to be a news cafe that was operating there and you know guys this restaurant is so nice it's so amazing it's so beautiful and i asked myself how did the police even get to know that this uh, restaurant doesn't have papers already within such a short time i'm like mm -mm, mm -mm, someone inside someone from within most probably reported this guys someone that was jealous someone that was not uh, liking to see this guy's progress or go further because this guy's were going to be a bomb guys i just pray that they fix the same uh, license things so that they can go ahead and operate guys because this restaurant is a must go it's so amazing the food that they serve there is so amazing guys imagine guys the People that came to the restaurant, they were actually walking out without paying. And this restaurants are the kind of restaurants that can actually pull uh, huge numbers like at a go. You can find that someone is paying a bill of 5,000, someone is paying a bill of 15,000, 50,000, 100,000, just like that. And imagine, guys, the loss that these guys could have gone through right now. I'm really feeling sorry for them. And I'm like, if the police were actually so swift in their response and everything, the country will be a better country, I'm telling you. Right now, look at the story that I just did uh, just before this video about the Melrose uh, Matlangu girl, the girl who was actually forced to jump off a cliff by some guy, if it's her boyfriend or what. You know, this country will be a better place, I'm telling you. Guys, I'm really feeling sorry for them. Go ahead and watch, guys. I really, you know, like... It was like an early Christmas for a lot of people that actually were at that restaurant. And I'm like, guys, say, hey, imagine eating the food. Imagine, oh my God. I'm like, I wish I was there, even though I'm feeling sorry for them, you know. I wish I could have gotten away with drinking so much and eating so much and, you know, getting away with it. But I really, for some reason, again, I want to believe maybe they might find those people because their cameras, guys, remember? Their cameras, they might look for them unless if maybe they could be told because you're operating illegally, then you've lost. Go ahead and check out this video where the police stormed into a building and actually were bringing everything, you know, they they really came fully armed with all the evidence and everything yeah let me know what our thoughts are in the comment section remember to keep your comments of all respectful and consider subscribing just in case you are not also remember to share and like the video guys i'll see you on the next one <laughs> And it's so disappointing to see that the police can actually respond like that, give such a serious response because guys, you should have seen those cars. They were and it's like they were going for someone that was being killed or someone that was being, you know, whose life was being threatened. It was just closing down the restaurant, guys. And only one car or just two policemen were needed. I don't know why they had to come in such large numbers. And I'm like, you know, things that don't need the police too much, that's where you find a lot of them. And right now, someone was most probably losing their life somewhere the same night. And... There was not even any response. 
And it's so disappointing. Uh, sometimes we really need to give uh, serious attention to things that are of great importance. Right now, if I was the owner of that restaurant, I was going to be happy for this uh, negati negativity because sometimes when something hits you, we, we tend to cry and not forget that uh, this may actually be for the best. Because according to me right now, I see this as for the best because we didn't know some of the like, people like me, I didn't know about this restaurant and now I know about it and someone out there that might be watching this video, they probably didn't know about this restaurant and they might also want to go try and try their food, try their, the experience there. So it was like a blessing in disguise for me. So this guy should not worry at all and get stressed about the loss that they could have gone through. This, whole, this man will come like like in hundred folds according to me thank you so much guys for being a part of this video please let me know what your thoughts are. i'll see you on the next one